Well, hey guys, I was sharing this thought with our church on Sunday. See, I just got back from Israel and uh, I was so excited when I went to Israel to see the valley where David fought Goliath, the place of a boy slayed a giant. And I was expecting this just extraordinary, amazing place. And so I get off a 10 hour plane ride. The first place we go is the valley where David fought Goliath. And, and so I get there and I look around and I was so unimpressed. <laughs> underwhelmed and to be honest with you a little bit depressed that I just jumped on a plane for 10 hours to see what I could have seen anywhere in New Jersey or the United States and as I'm sitting there reevaluating my whole life plan <laughs> our tour guide looks at us and he says you know it's amazing because this is the testament that God doesn't do his work in extraordinary places God uses ordinary places and ordinary people to do extraordinary things See, that was the cool part about my experience in Israel. It was a reminder to me that God's not looking for the extraordinary people and places to do his work. He's just looking for the ordinary. Ordinary people like you or me that are living in ordinary places, doing ordinary jobs. It's, it's through people like that that God does extraordinary things. You know, when you look at the story of scripture, most of the story of scripture takes place in an area not much bigger than New Jersey through ordinary people. And so my encouragement to you is this, don't wait till you're extraordinary to be used by God. Realize that God wants to use you right where you're at, in your ordinary life, your ordinary neighborhood, your ordinary job, because the reality is, when God sees somebody ordinary in an ordinary place, he's looking to do extraordinary things.